Hello, I'm Gabe. I'm Sarah. And we're still playing Minecraft. Yeah. Hey, did you know, audience at home, that Gabe's texture is Howl from Howl's Moving Castle? Because for, for some reason I can really see it today. It's the blue armor, I guess. I don't know, he never has blue armor in the show. No, it's the, like, sideways smile, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, no, that's like... the important thing. Yeah. Oh, that's like being in bed in real life. <laughs> There we go. From my perspective, for some reason, your feet stick out further than mine. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, your feet stick out further than mine. <laughs> so, what are we doing? You had just got the book, and I was hoping the book would tell us some things, but it hadn't actually told us anything yet. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us a whole lot. It has, like, recipes for stuff? So maybe we need to go looking for dungeons, I don't know. There are scrolls, I think. Yeah, I saw the scrolls. I bet you have to find those in the dungeons, though. None of them have recipes. Yeah. But another thing we could try and do is uh, try and make the airship. See if we oh, have what we need to make the airship. There's an airship? The Drayton. D-R-A-E-T-O-N. To make a Drayton, you need three... It's got balloons. Three balloons. And a burner. And a Weedwood rowboat. I got oh. a Weedwood rowboat. So that's presumably for the gondola. Um, the balloons require lurker skins and rubber balls. Okay. I've got three lurker skins. Uh, we need nine to make three balloons. Okay. Uh, and we haven't harvested any rubber balls from the rubber trees in the between lands. If we craft our rubber into rubber blocks, then we can craft those rubber blocks back into rubber balls from the between lands. Okay. So I'll go okay. get some rubber. Alright. Um, I don't know, do you want to check our skins? check our various chests for more lurker skin, and if not, go kill some lurkers? Sure. Okay, cool. That's a thing to do. But then there's also, what is it, the burner. What does that take? Oh, we need ancient remnants. Oh. We haven't like found ancient remnants thing. yet. So, yeah, we can't actually make the airship yet. But it might be well, useful can... to have some rubber, so I'll, I'll see if I can find some in here. Yeah, and we can, like, make the other components. And while trying to get the things to make the other components, you never know what we'll come across. Yeah, exactly. Though I think what we really need to find is a dungeon of some kind. Okay. Oh, we have a total of three lurker skins. Hmm. This chest is getting awfully full. Yeah, I think we may have stopped collecting rubber, so I will collect some more rubber and try and make it into the other kind of rubber. There's the extractor. Oh, there's no rubber in the chest. I was going to make a uh, an iron drum. Okay. There's some iron. The other thing we could do is there's a way to tar a weedwood rowboat, but I wasn't able to do it in my inventory, so I think maybe you need to put it mm. down in a lake of tar and then it's tarred? Mmm. I don't know. Alright. I pumped up the last lake of tar because it was generating tar beasts. Well, also because I wanted tar. At least I thought I wanted tar. Alright, I've kind of split up our materials in the chest down here into mm -hmm. um, organics and inorganics. Mm hmm. Just because the chest was super full. Sounds good. We've got signs here, so I'll, I'll mark them. I think there's an another kind of tree tap. A uh, between lines okay. tree tap. I think maybe you have to put it on the tree. And then maybe you need a bucket. I found some more rubber trees over here. I think I got one. There we go. One rubber tree sapling. Cool. And does it have an EMC? It does, so I can replicate it. Yay! Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a list of the things that we need to make the parts of the airship. Okay. And then I will begin collecting those things, starting probably with more of the skins because we know where those can be found. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Rubber trees. Oh, rubber itself actually has an EMC, so I could just duplicate that. Uh, they've changed that. Didn't used to. Alright, I've got a whole stack of rubber now. Oh, and the rubber block also has an EMC. Ah, between lines rubber also has EMC, so we're all good. Okay, cool. So, we need 15, is that right? Uh, yeah, we're gonna need 15 if we need 3. Okay, 15 rubber acquired. Cool. There's a chest in the main room now called Food Bank, which is full of food. Okay. Not that we can take any of that food to the between lands, but... So do you have a chest or someplace where you're putting these, uh, these resources? No, not yet. Okay. Do you want me to Sorry. drop them on you, or should I make a chest, or...? You can drop them on me, and I'll figure out what to do with them. Okay. We've got a Weedwood rowboat and 15 rubber balls so far. I'm going to the between lands to put my iron drum in place for pumping up some oil. Sounds good. I'm wondering if we should maybe give up and look up how to use compost, because we've made compost, which seems to me to indicate we ought to be able to grow stuff now. Yeah, I agree. Oh, there's some lurkers here, up at the top of the first staircase. Cool. One of them is just walking around on land, so I guess I'm just going to kill him. All right. Okay, I got three lurker skin. Ah, there's the oil platform. Looks like it's day-ish. There's the, you know, the whole big hole in the sky through which light is beaming. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll put the iron drum here and then we have a look and see what's going on with the oil. The fog is back. Oh, and there's a white. All right, you. All righty. It just ran at me, so I just kept hitting it. It didn't ever do the thing that it sometimes does, where it ah yeah tries to haunt you. That's good. But I am a little hungry now, and I don't have any food. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, we've got a chest full of food here. I'm I'm not there at the moment. Hopefully I'll be all right. All the right. white showed up right about the same time as the fog showed up. You'll notice it's foggy again now. Mhm. Mm oh, that's that's weird. What? Uh, things in the distance are starting to ripple. Oh. Not a great distance, just a slight distance away. Things further away are fine. I don't see anything unusual where I am. I have a lot of fog here, though. What? I have fog, too. But things in a medium distance in the fog are rippling weirdly. Okay, so the mud bricks are cooking. Maybe it's just this one tree. It's weird. And maybe there's a white over there. Oh, there's a white over there. That's what's going on. Oh. And the white makes it all ripply. It's going to take him a while to get to me. He's in the water. I'll try and fire an arrow at him and see what happens. Okay. Did nine damage. Didn't set him All on right. fire, but he is in the water, so... It just got dark. I think I killed him. Cool. Oh, interesting. The arrows... Oh, no, no, he's here. He's trying to, he's trying to haunt me. This is bad. Yep, he's going to get me. Uh-oh. Yeah, he got me. Damn it. Do you need help? No, I don't think so. I think okay. once they do that, they go away. Yeah. On the other hand, there's a crab here. It's trying to hit me. Hello. Hi. Oh, do we not have any Samurai ingots? Well, if we don't have any here, there are a whole lot back at the overworld base. Okay. I was running through the work. system because it doubles them. Oh, so right. So if you go downstairs, okay. there's a big double chest with some hoppers leading to it for machines. That should have a bunch of Samurai ingots in it. Okay. 
No, no, there's still a white here, so this is not good. Uh-oh. Also a skeleton? Oh, of course, because I have a grave and skeletons spawn on your grave. Oh no! That's not helpful. Only if it's dark. There are a lot of whites here. Hey, it does set them on fire if they're not in the water. Cool. Hey, and he only had three, uh, three life left. Ooh, it says you got revenge. Oh, so it was the same one. Okay, oh no, there's another one. Oh no, I don't have much health left. Uh oh. Oh, and he's doing the thing again. Dang nabbit. Oh, you can hit him. I think I I think I hit him while he was I, doing I thought his that, thing? Yeah, while he was doing his thing. Hmm. I have one heart left, so I need to come back and get some food. Uh which means I need to find the staircase again. <laughs> Yeah, we should have, like, above ground, like... Oh no, I'm gonna get killed by a crab. Oh, that sucks. And there's, there's another crab here. Can you come kill this crab, please? Uh, yeah, where are you? Right outside. Nope. Okay, I got him. Okay. I punched him to death. So, what should I take? I feel like I should cook the snail flesh. So I'll cook some snail flesh and take it with me. Okay. You got some mud bricks here? Is that something you were cooking? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll drop them on you then. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Oh wait, I need to make these into things. There we go. Mud bricks. Alright, my next task is lurker skins. Okay, I have three of them on my course. <laughs> oh, okay, great. We need three more then. Okay, I've got some seared snail flesh. Which hole did you come out of? Uh, the, the first, first one. The first one? Okay. Yeah, that's where the oil is and stuff. I'm going to be really annoyed if my pump is full of water after all this. The whole point of standing around there was to try and make sure that water didn't get in it. Because the oil was kind of in the middle of some water. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I was almost there. Ah, you got revenge on a silk crab. Yep. I, I almost got to the staircase. Hmm. The cavern took a while to load. I stood there looking at a gaping darkness for a bit. Yeah, I've been getting a little of that. Hey, I killed the skeleton that spawned on my grave. Yay! I'm setting it on fire with octane arrows. Okay, you know, it looks like the oil pump is doing good. Hurrah. There's a little more oil just around here. Oh, there's a lurker right here. Should I go kill it? Uh, sure. You're okay. at the staircase, really? No, sorry. Do you see the staircase leading up into the air? That's the staircase I'm at. Oh. Oh, yes, okay. I see. Okay. I'm now up to five lurker skins. Here Amazing. You go. We only need one more. Yay. And there are apparently some lurkers around here. Okay. I'm not sure where. The, both the ones I ran into were on land. So they ah. weren't, weren't too much of a problem. Oh, hello. This guy is flying low. Griebling Rider. Is he going to come for me? I hit him once. Yeah, I killed a Griebling Rider. Cool. And he dissolved into a bunch of leaves. And I didn't get any drops. So I guess it's not worth killing Griebling Riders. Alright, well now we know. I suppose I might just not have been lucky. We want dragonfly wings, is that right? We do, yeah. Okay, I got us some dragonfly wings. 
cool. I just harvested a mire coral. Okay. Found a lurker. Ah, cool. What color was the coral? Uh, kind of orangish yellow. Okay, cool. I remember making two different coral textures. One was orangish and the other was blue. Whew. I killed the lurker. Cool. But I am low on health. Oh no. I've got some snail meat if you need some. I have some meat. Okay, cool. I have crab sticks. Ah, that's where the water comes in. Uh, I get a picture of the corals underwater. Oh, here's someone whispering at me. Uh oh. Seems there's probably a white somewhere. I haven't heard it again though. Okay, the oil, surface oil spill anyway, is all cleaned up. Cool. Oh, I had a whole stack of swamp dirt that I didn't see. Okay, well, I had plenty. I can make this all nice and flat. Alright, getting my sap balls refilled. Okay, everything is great. And oh. I have enough lurker skins. Alrighty, head it back. I can now make the balloons. Cool balloons. Ballo, ballo. Oh, and I have another white heart here, which we can use tar drips to make a tar beast heart. I'm not sure how you get tar beasts. We can use it to make a fancy donut. Hmm. I'll put the white's heart in with the organics. Okay. And the dragonfly wings, too. I'm down to very few uh, octane arrows, so I'm going to make some more. That's all right. Okay, that's fine. That's why I've been collecting things. Alright, now that the balloons are made, we need undying embers and 25 ancient remnants. Yeah, and I don't know where we get the ancient remnants. And a cremains. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Cremains sounds like maybe you set something on fire and it dies. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. ancient remnants must be a drop because I don't... Or something you find in a, in a dungeon. So I guess we go looking for dungeons, huh? I guess so. Uh, unless you want to look up uh, how to use compost first. Okay, yeah. Between lands... Compost. The rotten bark has no other use, so I'm going to fill the compost bin with it. Okay. Compost can be right-clicked on dug swamp dirt, dug swamp grass, dug purified swamp dirt, or dug purified swamp grass to fill the hole in the block with compost. This then allows seeds to be planted on the block, namely white pear seeds, spores, and aspectrus seeds. Okay. However, after three mature crop harvests from the block, the compost inside will be consumed. Okay, so I think what that means, I'm guessing, is that we can take the purified swamp dirt, which we've got a bunch of here. Yeah. 
uh, and we can place it out in the world and then maybe right click on it with a hoe or maybe right click on it with a shovel to dig it. Ah. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm not left. sure that that's how you do it, but that's my best guess. I have a shovel. I'm willing to try. Cool. Yeah, I, I have one too. Okay, so where do we want our garden to be? Uh. Or do we want it inside? <laughs> or underground or something? <laughs> where it's safer? <laughs> I think outside is better. Okay, cool. Did I plant this tree? I think I planted this uh, this nibble wood tree. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, so we got a nibble twig log to grow. Yep. So you want to dig out an area here and I'll fill it with purified swamp dirt? Sure. How about this over here? Okay, this shovel is completely corroded. Yeah, this here one you is go. That one's really better. Very corroded. I, got, I gave you a better one. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, that. so see if you can right click on it with the shovel. Ah. Hey! There we go. Let okay. me go get some compost. I've got four on me. Okay. I'm gonna just do it. Cool. Now, is that uh, just compost, or is it compost block? Those were just uh, single composts. Just single I only composts? had four, so that's okay. all I could do. That's fine. I'll get some more. More composts. Ooh, it's lightning season. Yeah. Okay, so now okay, we can so now plant, we can plant seeds. spores. Spores or seeds? I don't know if we have any uh, of them yet. I don't think we have any. Um, white pear seeds, spores, and aspectrus seeds are what can be planted. Okay. Can you make spores from mushrooms? Spores. Blad blade shroom spores. Sacanod spores. And just spores. Okay. So it looks like you can fix your, your corroded tools in the purifier. Oh, cool. So we're out of swamp water at the moment. I could put up a pipe that would just pipe water in all the time. I, is that something you would not mind having? I don't really mind, no, it's fine. Okay, cool. I'll work on that. I'm uncorroding a pickaxe here. Ah, cool. So what I need is a node. Would you like me to look up how we find ancient remnants? I think it's going to be a dungeon. I think we need to find dungeons, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, I need one redstone. Okay, now I've got some transfer pipes. transfer node. I can put one of these nodes in there and then I'll be able to get any more nodes that I need. There we go. Yep, they're a monster drop. Do we know what monster? Yep, the crypt crawler. Okay, that sounds like we probably need to find a crypt. Can be found within the sludgeon. The sludgeon, huh? So there were this, these sludge worms, and they came out of a hole, and I just killed them and the hole disappeared, but maybe you can go into the hole? I'm not sure that's something I want to do, but... Okay, let's see if this works. Hopefully this does work. Yeah, there we go. That should keep this nice and full of, uh of swamp water. So, how do we want to explore? Do we want to try and tar the weedwood boat and see if that works, or? I think whites will have a hard time getting us in boats, but they may just, like, jump on us anyway, I don't know. 
So I moved the Weedwood boat because it's one of the ingredients we need for the airship. Yeah. <laughs> we can make another Weedwood boat, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, let me see here. I might even be able to just do it now. Yeah, okay, we got another Weedwood boat. Okay, now I've got one too. Okay, cool. Do we want to try okay. them first, or do we want to... Sure. Or do we want to uh, try tarring them first? Maybe it takes extra things of tar, or maybe you put you have to place the tar in the world and sift them in the tar, and then they get tarred. Clicking a boat with a tar drip will make it tarred. Okay, I don't know how to get tar drips. A tarred boat will stay in place and is easier to direct and control. We have tar, but I don't know how to turn it into a tar drip. All right, well, it looks like uh, we can still use boats if they're untarred, so we could use that to explore for now. Okay, cool. We haven't been west, and it looks like there's a lot of water to the west. So should we go west? All right. Okay. Uh, west. Yeah. At least I haven't hey, been west. At... You may have been west. I don't know. Hey, look, a dock. A dock? Yeah. Oh. Did your point of view turn around? Yep. Slowly backing up. I'm not sure how I go forward. That's right, left. We've got an anglerfish here interested in us. Yeah. I can turn around quite easily. Yeah, I can turn oh, around. Oh, I too. see. Oh, the, there's a white, there's a white, there's a white. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think you use the left. Uh, arrow to control the left oar and the right arrow to control the right oar. Also, I cannot use weapons while I'm in here. So I'm getting out. Alright, I'm backing away. So if you hold them down at the same time... Yeah. Then you row backwards pretty well. Kill the white. Good. Thank you. So you can only row them backwards, which makes more sense. That's the way most boats really work, right? Mm, yep. And you have to hold both left and right to do it. You've got yep. a couple angler fishes on your tail. I know, I see them. Okay. I'm running into trees. And there are crabs. The angler fishes are trying to attack me, but they don't seem to be able to do any damage. Hmm. Maybe they can't get through the boat. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so there's an island of crag rock over here. Which I'm trying to avoid. There's a lurker and an anglerfish duking it out, waiting for the world to load. There's a swamp hag here. I found a wisp. I don't know what you can do with a wisp, but I found one. I'm heading a little north now. Okay. And I'm waiting for the world to load. There's all these... these big, tall root-like things stretching up into the air. Yeah, I'm about to go underneath one here. I'm gonna pull up by a root here right around negative 350. And maybe get out and have a look. This will be kind of caught in a tar a little me. bit. Oh no! There we go. Hello? Don't know what it was. Okay, so I'm on giant roots here. And there are weedwood leaves as well, on top of the giant roots. It's like a tree with no actual trunk, just roots and leaves. I see you. I'm, uh, just now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.